Today I'm going to show you how to make Buna Gosh. I'm Russell Phipps and welcome to Mana with Spice. Buna is a technique of cooking by frying, producing a thick masala that coats and sticks the gosh, the meat, hence the name Buna Gosh. Traditionally goat or mutton is used. To make Buna Gosh we need several ingredients. The dish you start off with is you use mustard oil and in that you then put in a whole spice garam masala which consists of cinnamon, bay leaves, black cardamom, green cardamom, mace, cloves and black peppercorns. In addition you're going to require onions, ginger, garlic, fresh chilies, doesn't matter whether they be red or green, and fresh coriander leaves. You will also require coriander seed, cumin seed, turmeric, some form of curd, I'm using lactose-free curd today, and obviously the meat. The meat that I'm using today is lamb, which has been cut off the bone, but I have actually left a fair bit of the fat on deliberately uh, because it does add to the flavour. High heat with about two tablespoons of mustard oil. And once it's hot, we will then add the whole garam masala. In goes the cinnamon or cassis. Just let that to bubble a bit first. In goes the black cardamom. They're now beginning to sizzle, so in goes the rest. So I'm just going to fry these, and what we're doing is getting the essential oils out of all the whole spices. Three large onions have been finely chopped. We'll Saute these until they're transparent and lightly brown. So you're looking at about 10 to 12 minutes. 10 minutes are up and this is just about ready and it's still on high heat. So it is now time to put the meat directly in. Now you want to stir fry the meat, you want to stir fry the meat until it is fully covered with the onion and sealed and changes colour. So while that is just finishing off, being sealed, I have another video which I put online on how I actually cut onions. If you're interested, I'm now going to add the liquidised ingredients. So stir this in. And you can probably hear it reduce the spitting right down very quickly because the tomatoes have actually cooled the oil down. And you can see it is now bubbling away already. We turn the heat down, cover and leave it for about 15 to 20 minutes. 20 minutes are up, so let's have a look at it. So and this is on very low. Right, so I'm now going to add the ground spices, mix those in. I have two fresh chilies which I have sliced and half of the coriander leaves. Mix those in. The lid goes on again and it's turned right down to low and now we leave this for 30 to 40 minutes. 35 minutes are up. The curd has been out of the fridge uh, for about an hour to come up to room temperature. And the idea is that is that when you put it in, um, it shouldn't curdle. Mix that in. I 
as you can see, we just brought that back up to boil. So I'm going to cover that, turn it off, and leave it for about 10 minutes before serving. And there we are, one boon a gosh. Well, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe. Um, I'll be putting links on to some other videos and to my website as stated in the description. Thank you again for watching.